I have bad news for you. <laughs> Man, you know that I've been trying to figure out a way to make OLED Motion Pro on this LG C1 to work at custom resolutions. Uh, so, you know, in a case of a game like this, I cannot get 100 frames rock solid or 120, of course, but I can get 80. So I, if I can use OLED Motion Pro, that BFI to get that great motion clarity at 80 hertz, 80 frames per second, that would be awesome. It's not going to work. And I got the final answer from the chief of Blur Busters. He said it's not going to work. And he explained me why. It's basically... When you create a custom resolution here, let's say 90 Hertz, 4K, the TV displays uh, something, but it is at 120 Hertz. So when you go to VRR information or to that secret menu on their, on their channel tuning, you press one, 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 you see that the TV is at 120 Hertz. So it is not displaying the custom refresh rate. And that's why, you know, it's out of sync basically. So custom refresh rates, only work if you have VRR enabled and you cannot use VRR and Motion Pro at the same time. Man, that's such a disappointment because that would be huge, man, huge. If LG does a firmware update or whatever, I would pay, I would pay $400 right now if LG is able to do this as a firmware update, I would pay $400 additional to what I already paid on this TV just to have the option to have custom uh, refresh rates with working with OLED Motion Pro. And if we add to that the ability to change the window size for the OLED Motion Pro, I would pay $700 actually. $700, I would pay that just to have all those additional options. But people don't know. And that's why they don't have an option like that. And this is a TV also. But they are selling it as a gaming uh, capable TV and for PC gaming also. So that is only useful for, for PC gaming. Not a lot of people would know how to use it. So I understand why that might never happen maybe but let's see let's hope for the for a for a better future in terms of uh bfi and they let's hope that they don't keep downgrading it and just eliminating it altogether for some reason so i want to also talk about elden ring now that we are here talking about performance because game of the year so much praise this is my favorite game of all time okay i have to start by saying that this is the best game of all time in my opinion in terms of what the game is okay the art design the world uh, the gameplay is not a stellar but it's it is good enough <laughs> to to interact with the world let's say it's good enough i'm okay with the gameplay the best design the best open world ever created the best level design it's just amazing game the best ever in my opinion but i have a big problem with the praise that this game is getting because everyone is doing the same thing that i that i'm doing oh this is the best game of all time or this game is just amazing i'm going to ignore all the flaws and let's ignore all the technical problems and that's bad, man, because I like this game so much that I want to play it at a much higher uh, quality standard. The textures on this game are not good enough. The performance is horrendous. I, I'm fighting with a boss that has some poison uh, particle effects and the frame rate drops down to the 60s. And I have a 5800X3D. It drops because of the CPU. That's unacceptable, man. Completely unacceptable. And they are talking about upgrading the game with ray tracing, right? That's a horrendous idea. That's the stupidest idea. I've... It's insane. The game locked to 60 frames. Let's add ray tracing, which is even more CPU demanding. That's absurd. 
that's absurd what they need to do is to fix the cpu uh, requirements is 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 asking for too much cpu they need to add upscaling techniques fsr 2.1 dlss they need to improve the performance they need to add a higher resolution uh, texture pack that is that is what really uh, would make a difference and it is totally possible man this is the best game one of the best game ever and the best game of the year why they cannot do that what, what what's the limitation why if you see indie games coming with dlss and with those uh, options why they cannot do that such a incredible you see a game like uh the amazing spider-man on or uh, spider-man miles morales which runs like a dream over 100 frames very easily or even a rock solid 100 frames on my system and it looks so much better and impressive than this I want this game to look as good or even better than that it deserves that treatment so I have a big problem with the praise that the game is getting and everyone ignoring the flaws oh the flaws don't matter because you know it's the best game ever so it doesn't matter that it runs like crap and it's locked to 60 frames on the PC, which is unacceptable. Unacceptable. So there has to be some incentive for the developers to improve this thing. Because if all they get is praise and praise and awards, they're not going to do anything. So the message that the developers are getting is basically the technical part is completely irrelevant nobody cares because people don't know people don't know what is more than 60 frames so let's just lock the, fr the frame right to 60 and that's fine in and, and that's not okay that's not okay I have a big problem with that so yeah I just wanted to use my <laughs> my platform to throw that out there many people are going to disagree or not care about that but I do have a big problem man because Basically, I don't want to beat this game. I almost stop playing the game because I do not want to beat the game in the current state because I know in the future, uh, hopefully soon, uh, you know, sooner than later, this game will be remastered. 100%. This is one of the best games of all time. This game deserves a remaster and it will happen at some point. So a remaster of this game with higher resolution textures with a much better performance that's what I want to play that's what I want to play at the bare minimum DLSS unlocked frame rate and the CPU overhead or the performance uh, requirements of, of the CPU being fixed yeah so that's what I would like man it's, it's a shame that it's a garbage technically this game is trash absolute garbage so that needs to be fixed man so yeah let me know your opinion about it and yeah uh, that's all I have to say <laughs>